Uh, that morning, I had never seen this look on Michael's face for the first few games. So when I got on the bus, I said, what's up, MJ? He said, look, I'm serious tonight. I said, uh-oh. I was saying to myself, somebody in trouble tonight. Uh, I speak with the Jerry Krause, and the manager of Chicago Bulls, and uh, we have a, a very good relationship. I, I remember Scottie Pippen and I, and all we heard in Chicago was how great Tony Kukoc was, you know, from Jerry Krause and whatever, and we made a pact that we were not going to let this guy get do anything against us. So it was like, okay, you got in the first half, I got in the second half. We're going to do everything to make sure this kid doesn't, doesn't, you know, you know, upstage, you know, the dream team. He said, uh, Tony Kuko, I got him tonight. I'm going to shut him down. And we were like, the whole bus went quiet. So we were riding along, okay. Uh, everything good? No, I, I got him. I just got to show him that uh, I'm going to dig him up and he's not going to get one basket on me. He prepared like you know, he, he's guarding one of us in the finals. Michael Jordan was so keyed up for this game that he's mentioned a couple times to Chuck Daly over the last few days. Coach, I don't care if I only play four minutes in each of the rest of the games. I want to play a lot of minutes in the game against Croatia. So then Scotty chimed in and Scotty said, when you on the bench, then I got him. And we was like, okay. It's about to be on in here tonight, right? I was recruiting this guy and talking how great he was. You know, that's like a, a father who has all his kids and now he sees another kid that he loves more than he loves his own. So we were not playing against Tony Kukoc. We were playing against Jerry Krause in a Croatian uniform. But unfortunately for the real Tony Kukoc, he was now the target of the world's two best defensive players. They were debating who was going to guard him. No, 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 I got it. No, 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 I got it. I'm looking at Michael and Scotty, and they're ready for, like, blood. Like, man. We knew the world was going to be watching. We knew everyone wanted to see what Tony Kukoc was like, and we were going to give him the worst experience he ever had on the basketball court. Pippen drew the initial assignment of shadowing Kukoc and harassed the Croatian from the opening whistle. It was hard to run across the half court without a ball. And, and uh, with the ball, it was just, here, somebody else get it. Tony definitely wasn't getting a shot up, and he wasn't going to score. Kukak is nothing for four, and he's contributed nothing. We wanted to go guard him on the bench. Kukak is called for the offensive foul, and the pressure continues. And after Pippen wore Kukoc down, it was Jordan's turn. Kukoc. Stolen by Jordan, he reads it better than anyone. I, I, I understood that part, that they come in here, not, nothing's going to be given to me just because I was uh, really good in Europe. Obviously, you need a time to prove some things to each other. Kukoc, it counts in the foul. Kukoc found Worm Rotman. Sweet move by Kukoc. Let's go, there's the lob. Yeah, good pass by Tony. Tony goes, woo! Did you see that play? New coach by Alston makes it look easy. Tony makes the move, kicks it out. Wennington baseline jumper. Defensive. New coach on the pick and roll to Longley. There's Tony Kukoc on the steal. It's a three on three. Kukoc spins around. Grant, what a move by Kukoc. Curling. Counts if it goes. Oh, boy. It's a triple for Cooper. To Tony. Pump fake. Fire. Score! Right at the buzzer. All right, Steve. Well done. <laughs> I, just, you know, I know it's sushi. Whatever. Steve. Yeah, it's sushi. sushi. No, I, I was like Kenny. I just, you know, pasta, chicken, whatever. But I'll tell you a quick story about Tony Kukoc that when he came over to the NBA. First game of the season, I asked him if he wanted to go grab a bite to eat. It's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, kind of, you know, four hours before the game. And he orders this feast. I mean, salad, appetizer, huge plate of pasta, chicken, glass of red wine, a dessert like tiramisu, and then he follows it up with an espresso. And I'm, I'm just in awe. I'm sitting there looking at him like, Tony, 
this is this is your pregame meal. He goes, in Europe, we eat a lot. We drink a little wine. We have espresso. We go ho back to hotel, take b <laughs> Then we go. <laughs> 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 All right, there we go. <laughs> oh, Man, was what? I allowed to say that? I gotta honestly say, I did not see that story that going there. That's, uh, that was awesome. I don't know why. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say, oh, we have a game tonight? <laughs> I thought he didn't know oh, I, the I, schedule I, was something. A fair, honest comparison, people think you're hating. Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Dennis Rodman, Tony Kuko, Ron Harper would be better today. They would be better players today, in my opinion. Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Dennis Rodman, Tony Kuko, they would be better. With, no I'm not, check with no hand checking, Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Tony I'm, Kuko. I'm just saying that there's no. <laughs> Kuko, it's the pump fake. Wide open. Slash it down. Pretty fake, too. Oh. Got it. Yes. yes. It was about a half court when he let that one go. What a great pad. Tony Curry with the block. Oh, blocked by Tony. Is it back? Tony Long, three. Yeah. Tony Kukoc with a beautiful move. Now he drives past contact and stuffs it home with two hands. Oh, Here's Kukoc with a great move. Back to that. Michael. Good night. Michael gives it to Tony Kukoc. As Montrose, and now he takes it to the hole. <laughs> Today, we have a little global flavor. Sent in by Tony Kukoc. He can shoot the ball. He got a great hesitation dribble. You fake like you're going, <laughs> Tone. That's a great move, baby. But it's another thing that I like about you, Tone, and it kind of reminds me of myself. One thing you can do is cabbage roll. Oh, Ice, when are you going to let that go? Oh, please, I ain't never letting that go. That's my <laughs> trademark. You know one thing Ice can do is <laughs> sing a roll. Tony Kukoc, when international players were few and far between in the league, Nicknamed the waiter, 6'10", shooting threes, came right in and won three championships with the Chicago Bulls. Scottie Pippen got into it with Phil Jackson because they didn't draw up the final play for him, drew it off a coup coach, and he made it. That's how good their squad was. They drew up the play for Tony Kukoc, who, keep in mind, had won three games at the buzzer for the Bulls this season. 1.8 to go. Here's what happened. 1.8 left. No timeouts left for the Bulls. Myers triggers the inbounds pass. Kukoc for the win! It goes! Oh, brother! Tell me the best experience that you had with Tony Kukoc. <laughs> I had a lot of good experiences with Tony. He was a great friend. Um, we went out all the time on the road and had dinner and uh, had a lot of fun. And, of course, playing with him was great because uh, he was an amazing player, great passer. And uh, I got a lot of open shots uh, by playing with Tony. Was there one particular moment on the court that really stood out as far as either a pass or a shot where you were involved with him? Uh, there were so many of them. You know, playing in the finals uh, three years in a row, Tony had some great games in those finals games. And, uh, you know, he was so talented. He could go down on the, on the post and, and post up and score at the rim or shoot threes, handle the ball in transition. He was an incredibly talented player. And uh, so I have a, a lot of great memories of playing next to him.